film that won the Palme d'Or at the time. Wait, 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 the no! The film that <laughs> received the Palme d'Or. No. <laughs> Three fugitive Texas Democrats test positive for COVID after packing onto $100,000 private jet wearing no masks to flee to D.C. and meet with Kamala Harris having sabotaged states voting reform. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The opening clip was of movie director Spike Lee doing an oopsie and announcing the winner of the Cannes Film Festival too early. The rest of the headlines are of other dum-dums that I thought you should see on today. The first article further states, 60 Democratic lawmakers from Texas fled the state on Monday to block the passing of an election integrity bill proposed by Republicans. The Democrats packed into a private plane bound for D.C. not wearing masks. In the intervening days, the group has met with many high-powered politicians in the nation's capital, including Kamala Harris. However, three of the Texas Democrats have now tested positive to COVID-19. All three have been fully vaccinated, but one is experiencing symptoms. One Republican Texas lawmaker claims they're lying to avoid the vote in Texas. The second article states, Cuomo in the hot seat. Governor will be questioned under oath today in probe of sexual harassment allegations from nine women after records revealed he used $285,000 of campaign funds to cover legal bills. Under oath, the governor will answer questions asked by outside lawyers hired by State Attorney General Letitia James regarding sexual harassment allegations. At least nine women have accused him of sexual harassment. Cuomo has repeatedly denied the allegations saying he never touched anyone inappropriately but has apologized for making anyone feel uncomfortable. The last article reads, NAACP leader resigns from PTA after yelling let them die at parents who opposed teaching critical race theory in Virginia middle school. NAACP Vice President Michelle Leet resigned from the Virginia PTA Saturday after making the inflammatory comments on Thursday. The crowd had gathered to counter-protest a group of parents who were holding a stop CRT rally at the Luther Jackson Middle School in Fairfax County. While not speaking in her role within Virginia PTA, we do not condone the choice of words used during a public event on Thursday. The incident comes as parents, schools and activists across America are going to war over CRT being taught to children. In my opinion, the first story made me laugh as these Democrats that should be working on taking private jets to avoid their duty, then with all the smiling faces on the airplane some of them catch the COVID. The second story I don't even want to touch, no pun intended. Do you think Cuomo is guilty? And the last story just goes to show that no matter how angry you get, you have to control your behavior, and in this case what you say to other people. Well, I hope you are having a good Sunday, and I appreciate the wide range of viewers and comments. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.